are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the join button for channel memberships and check out the merch. And when you get your merch, make sure you use the discount code Gina Rots, and we're going to give you 15% off your purchase votes. Also, make sure you guys follow us on Odyssey and Rumble. The links for those are in the description as well. And be on the lookout for the website. Blackandwhitenetwork.com will be coming soon. Let's get into this. Let's go over to the Marxist NBA of China. And Spurs coach Greg Popovich as well as Texas governor Greg Abbott. Okay. Now, yesterday, in case you guys don't know, Texas will be opening up to 100% starting next Wednesday. OK, so businesses can open up to 100 percent capacity and the state mandates on wearing masks. That is going out the window, too. And we knew it was only going to be a matter of time before Spurs coach Greg Popovich came out and criticized the governor of Texas for opening up businesses and getting rid of statewide mask mandates, because we know that Greg Popovich is a far leftist clown. If the leftists had their way, businesses would never open up again and small businesses would go under, you know. But Popovich has his job. His business is still able to operate. But a lot of small businesses have not been able to operate to the capacity and their revenue is hurting dramatically. OK, so let's go over here and check out what Spurs coach Greg Popovich had to say about Governor Greg Abbott's decision to open up the state. You can see here, Greg Popovich rips Texas governor for lifting mass mandate, quote, ignorant. This sounds like something that Greg Popovich would actually say, okay? I mean, Greg Popovich, man, he has been preaching fear on the virus for way too long, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure you know a lot of you guys probably don't even care what he says. I don't either because nobody's watching the NBA. Ratings are down and they have destroyed their league. OK. But it says here, San Antonio Spurs coach Greg Popovich said Tuesday his team would ignore Texas decision to lift a statewide mass mandate, branding the move by Te Texas Governor Greg Abbott as ignorant. Abbott announced Tuesday he was ending the state's mass mandate in a bid to open up Texas 100 percent, despite fears from the U.S. Centers for Dise Disease Control and Prevention. And it could lead to a resurgence of COVID-19. Speaking on the sidelines of San Antonio's 119-93 win over the New York Knicks on Tuesday, which I'm pretty sure nobody watched. Popovich said the Spurs would continue to follow NBA protocols, which require players, coaches and officials to wear masks. Quote, as far as the players go, we will listen to the NBA, not the governor. Popovich told reporters condemning Abbott's ruling as a mystifying decision. He criticized, quote, acting like the pandemic is over when all the science tells us the opposite. Now, folks, that is not what Greg Abbott said. OK, Greg Abbott said that basically that the state is getting out of the business of regulating other small businesses because small businesses, man, have been hurt dramatically by this. This needs to end at some point. OK, now, Greg Popovich, you know, I guess, you know, he can say whatever he wants because he's able to do his job. He's getting paid no matter what. The players are getting paid as well. Yes, you can listen to the NBA and follow their protocols. And that's essentially what uh, Greg Abbott said. It's going to be up to businesses to determine whether or not uh, people have to wear masks or not. They can actually, you know, go to a smaller capacity. And the Spurs actually on March 12th, they're actually going to allow 3,200 fans to actually be in attendance at basketball games. That's that's up to them. Now, I believe, you know, that um, Popovich probably wants the state to regulate your life to death. He wants that. And I guess he wants Texas to be like California when it comes to Gavin Newsom and Andrew Cuomo in New York, who have done a horrible job. They have destroyed their states. Texas, not nearly as bad as those two states, maybe Popovich should pack up and move, move over to 
the People's Republic of California or the People's Republic of New York and see what it's like over there to be a citizen in those states. It's not pretty, folks. But anyway. Let's continue on here. Uh, Pop continues on. He says, um, we already went through this once and now we're going to do it again. There will be more infections, one would think. It puts a lot of businesses in a tough spot, I think. The 72-year-old added, quote, they're trying to do a good job keeping everybody safe. Of course, they want to open up. Abbott imposed a mask mandate in the second most populous U.S. state eight months ago. He said Tuesday, an executive order rescinding his previous COVID-19 orders and restrictions would take effect on Wednesday. And folks, when I found out the news yesterday, I was happy. I was happy, man, because small business owners can now operate their business. But guys like Greg Popovich, man, I believe he should just probably go into politics, you know. But the NBA at this point now is a political organization, you know. That's why half of their fans have left. And I believe that many of the fans will never, ever return to watch the NBA again. So I'm not surprised that um, Popovich would actually say something like this. And people like him always say, listen to the science. Here's the truth, folks. When it comes down to the science, what's going on? Hospitalizations, way down. Infections, way down. We already have a vaccine for months. And it's probably estimated, you know, that like a third of people have already had um, had the virus already. And then you have like, uh, I guess, another 100 million or so that have already been vaccinated. So that's already I have. When will it end? It needs to end, folks. It needs to end. We need to get back to business, business as normal. We really do. But Greg Popovich, he's not a fan of that. Now, here's the thing about the NBA. When. You watch an NBA game when you watch these players play on the court. Are they wearing masks? No, they're not. They're not. But the NBA does have this dumb rule where if you actually go to the sideline, you have to social distance and wear masks, which I think is ridiculous. Apparently, you know, when you're on the court, the virus just magically disappears. But when you go to the sideline, I guess the virus can reemerge. It's pretty dumb man. it's really, really dumb. And I believe that the NBA is complete hypocrites. But Greg Popovich will not actually come out and criticize China for their atrocities. But yet he's actually going to criticize the state of Texas for trying to get Americans back to work to get businesses going again. Greg Popovich is a complete moron, folks, a complete and utter moron, in my opinion. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? The March is NBA China's Greg Popovich coming out and slamming uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott for opening up Texas. We need to get back to normal. And if I'm not mistaken, you know, the country that um, the NBA loves so much, China, even in Wuhan, they're back to opening up 100 percent. I don't even think they even have any social distancing. But, you know, Greg Abbott and the March is NBA China, they're not going to say anything about that, folks. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to black and white sports and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like comment and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports.